right, so here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name The Ring. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship. High-level striker, but the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished the number one for. Slice ready to go here tonight. Kimbo Slice ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this heavyweight. Now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Great. in the octagon. Great. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There are a ton of things, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Kimbo Slice gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, leg kicks are the weapon of choice early for this kickboxer. No surprise that he would try to attack that lead limb of the boxer, who all of a sudden has to make some adjustments, and we're just getting started. Well, he's got to beat that lead leg up. He's got to limit the mobility of the boxer by kicking that leg over and over again. He did it early. Let's see if the boxer can start to pick up on it and try to check that kick so that he doesn't get beat down and be very limited in his approach. Can't take many of those. Better check. Straight left hand. He's got some hands, man. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very fast in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh, nice 
right hand. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. But he oh, he hurt him again, bro. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Pretty good kicks there by Overeem. Yes. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Strong outside leg kick. Now we're going. Nice defense to block that punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Straight right hand, no good. Kimbo slices. Nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get there. Oh, punches and punches. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival Ready. mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Round two underway. Nice combination there by Overeem, yes. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, a huge block there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. Just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's more than I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Big right hand. Oh! Oh! Big right hand lands. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Slice is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Two minutes. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. So right now, it's starting to show. Under a minute now to go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Kimbo slices pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much. He's hurt bad. He's hurt him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Another one. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. That's the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover.
All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Slice is limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. And there's that jab. Push kick there to the body. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his... That body's done! That body's done! That'll do it! One, two, no judges needed this time around! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kimbo Slice! Well, bet against this man at your own peril. Kimbo Slice does it yet again. The power was on full display here tonight. And this is an evolving mixed martial artist. It's gonna be very interesting to see how they match make Kimbo moving forward. This result figures to provide the promotion with a whole lot of options.